Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. The series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. If you got cool tricks, feel free to send them in my Discord server. And maybe you'll win a juicy battle pass in the next video. Also, big F in the chat for the summer. Man, oh man, the summer went by so quickly. For me at least, my college starts next week. So, uh, yay, I have uh, sin in that. But it's okay, my friends. One more here and I'm done. And one more thing before I start this video. When you're playing Valorant, are you also sometimes multitasking a lot? Watching YouTube videos in between rounds? for example well that's not very smart of you it might affect your in-game performance unless you are using the sponsor of this video opera gx opera is a web browser designed for gamers it has tons of useful features you could for example create different gx profiles just go to browser settings click on manage gx profiles and create something that fits your gaming needs here you can choose between tons of configurations potato for example if you have a potato pc just click on it and gx creates a browsing profile in its most basic form less lag for you my friends and this is just one feature you could also link all kinds of apps like your twitch to get notifications of your favorite streamer or your discord to of course get easy access to your favorite discord channel you also have tons of cool customization options change your light theme wallpaper color almost everything is customizable and one of my favorites do you also sometimes game in the dark and then when you open a tab you get flashed by a bright screen luckily when you go to settings and click on force dark pages you won't get flashed anymore you get nice dark websites so if this made you interesting feel free to download opera with the link in the description it's completely free so try it it out today my friends and now let's continue the video so let's continue with this insane flash mechanic apparently when the enemy reina uses her flash you can counter it by using your own flash as long as the enemy is blinded you'll be able to see her head i know it's pretty op so riot please fix just keep in mind this only works on short range it doesn't work on long range sadly now cool neon trick at the start of the round jump on these boxes when the bears are going down use your wall jump on these boxes use the zip line jump to a belt and kill the enemy standing on belt and i know what you're saying uh what? Yes, you need some good mechanics for this. But with some practice, you can get nice skills like Amy. Long range. Down. Joke's over! You're dead! Bye-bye. But wait, there's even a harder but better version. Instead of using the zip line, you could also jump on the edge of the middle box. This is very hard to do, but you'll be a little bit quicker. Good luck, my fellow Neon mains. Now an easy trick, but some knowledge that you have to know. It's all about the Sage Slow. As most of you guys know, when you jump in the Sage Slow, you jump less high than normally. This means that you won't be able to make some jumps, on these stairs for example. But just like the normal jumps, when you crouch in the air, you jump a little bit higher. And then you will be able to jump on these stairs. Might come in handy one day. Now some cool wallbang spots. The first one is on Icebox. Did you know that you could wallbang from the hood towards the kitchen. Pretty cool to know, but making kills like this might be a little bit hard. There's a low chance that you will hit an enemy. However, you could use something like a cypher trip wire, chill in snowman, and when it goes off, kill the enemies easy peasy. Another wallbang spot is here on Pearl. You could actually wallbang through the waterfall towards mid link. But again, you might need to be a little bit lucky to hit an enemy like this. So simply combine it with something like a sofa arrow or a fate octopus and kill the enemies easy peasy. Where are you? About the Fate Octopus, here's an epic lineup. On B-side Ascent, stand next to this box and aim at the top of the billboard. Then run forward till your crosshair is on the iron bar and throw your wisp. It will land on this small ledge over here. It's hard for the enemies to destroy. So you can just kill them with your Odin. Now a trick you can do on almost every map as long as you have a friend. Just like on Counter-Strike, you could actually boost your friends on boxes. This is actually better than you think, especially when you play an agent like Sage. I mean, look at the combination of Jet with Sage on Ascent. You can get very high, so easy peasy shots for you. Now let's go to Fracture for a nice Viper trick. If you to enter A, throw your smoke at the drop. Then walk forward, stand against this wall and use your ultimate towards the other wall. When you do this, your ultimate goes all the way to the side and you can easily plant the spike. Very nice. And after that, you could of course hide in satellite. And when someone is defusing the spike, throw your poison. Easy win. About easy wins, this one is not a trick, but look at this ace. I had to show it, my friends. Oh my god! Wow, that was really fast. Maybe even faster than this one I showed in last video. <laughs> Anyway, back to the tricks. Here's one for all the KO players out there. With KO and Fracture, before the bears are going down, hug this wall. Aim to that spot of the tree and when the bears are going down, throw your flashbang. Like you see, it will flash all the enemies standing outside of B and it won't flash yourself. A nice one way. And you know what? Let's do another tip about the KO flash. When you are standing over here, you could go for a right click flash like this. Or like this, bounce it against the box. They are both decent but not my personal favorite. What I like to do is a running left click throw against this wall over here. I think it's way easier and you have zero risk of flashing yourself. 
tricks don't have to be complicated, right? So here's an easy one. When you're playing Viper in the post plant, instead of throwing your smoke directly on the spike, throw it a little bit to the left or the right. When enemies gonna shoot on the spike, they're most likely gonna shoot in the middle of the smoke. And when your smoke is to the right, of course, the middle is not directly on the spike. You have to keep in mind though, the enemies can counter it by simply pinging the spike, but not everyone is doing that, so you get the advantage with almost no extra effort. Now a risky but cool omen trick. When you want to enter B with omen, you could use one smoke over here. Make sure there's a little gap open in elbow. Then when your teammates are also gonna push, you can teleport inside that small little gap. I know my friends, it's very risky, but it's a good distraction for when your teammates are gonna push. And who knows, you might get a nice kill with it. Now three cool wallbang spots from Kong combined. Did you know these were possible? First one, through this door towards hookah. <laughs> The second one, through the market towards middle. Of course, if you have a sofa arrow, this works really nice. And the last one, from the corner of hookah towards market. Found them. Now let's go to Ascent and talk about Chamber. This teleporter setup is really handy. Place the first one in market. After that, go all the way to the other side of the map and place the second one next to the tree. And this is it. With one click on your E button, you can rotate instantly. Simple, right? Here's another simple one. This time for Jet on Breeze. When the bears are going down, simply throw your smoke and push. Try to make a quick kill on elbow and immediately dash away. Like you see, not complicated at all, but you can get a lot of kills with it. Just don't use it too much in one game. Now let's talk about Yoru. What a lot of people are doing with the clone is use it and then walk behind it. But most of the time the enemies expect it so they shoot on the second Yoru. So what you can do is use the first psychology. Place your clone down, activate it, but walk first yourself. The enemies might shoot on the clone and when they shoot, you shoot on them, easy kills. It's a risky, I know my friend, but look at Waffle Monk. Um, I need a meditate, guys. Um, one enemy Quiet. And while we're on ascent with Yoru, let's do another trick. When you're standing in market, often the enemy smokes the door. When it's smoked and you want to go for an aggressive play, you could use this flash over here. Simply flash the ground and push out of the smoke towards stairs. Your flash will flash everyone, so easy kills for you. Now a quick and very easy Viper ult on B-side bind. The only thing you have to do is use your ult in the middle of the container over here. After that, you can plant a spike, of course, and the good thing about this one is that you can hide behind the container. When the enemies want to retake, they're most likely not gonna push in your smoke over here. So you just hide there and that's how you win the round. Thank you, Schumann, for this trick. Now, cool omen trick that I personally definitely gonna use. On Haven, you could teleport on these boxes over here and place your smoke inside the ground. When you do this, you create a little head glitch spot to kill the enemies. A very sneaky trick. Mysticism got a nice kill with it. Oh, that's cool. Oh. You could actually also do some sort of the same trick on A side. Place your smoke at the entrance and voila, easy kills for you. The enemies will probably not expect you there. And let's do another trick you can do with smokes. This time with brimstone on pearl. When you think the enemies are about to push, jump on this box over here and chill a bit. And when you hear the steps, use your smoke on yourself. The good thing about the smoke is that the enemies might think that it's a one way or something. But you are actually sneaky peaky and once they plant a spike, you can see their heads and kill them easy peasy. Now let's go to fracture for an actual one way. A very interesting one with cypher. On B side stand under need to latch and go a little bit to the left then aim in between the leaves and throw your cage now when you are standing in canteen and activate your cage you have a nice one way towards nest but the good thing about this cage is that the enemies might not expect that it's a one way for canteen they might think it's a one way for the side so they're gonna push because you can actually see the side from nest but when they push a little bit too far easy kills for you now let's do a cool spike hiding spot when you're entering beyond pearl do your wall like this and then cast your ultimate in the middle of this box over here when you did this you create a small spot where you can hide the spike plant the spike over there and the enemies will have a hard time finding it they will be able to see a small circle though but when they are stressing you know they might look over it easy win for you and this is it my friends thank everybody so much for submitting their tricks i hope you learned something and i see you guys in the next one peace